Well, there's nothing like a birding and viticulture expedition. Here at Paradise in Portugal, we take our birding very, very seriously. Tell me about the wine. <laughs> well, the wine, it has to have three prerequisites to get onto our wine list. A, it has to be Portuguese. Right. B, it has to have a cork in it. And the first two normally go together. But the third one is a bit different because every single bottle has to have a picture of a bird on it. So as you can see, we've got oh, quite a few that. birds. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> and it's actually quite a good way of choosing your wine list because there's so many good Portuguese wines, it's difficult to choose between them. So you choose ones that have a bird on it and you've got the good, the bad, and the plain revolting. <laughs> Well, tell me what's the good here and what's the plain revolting. And let's start with the plain revolting. I can't do the plain revolting, I'll get sued. <laughs> All right. What's the a good one? Good ones. Guardarias is very nice. Okay. Quinta with the kingfisher on it. Right. Yeah. Quinta de la Rosa is very nice. Graus is very nice. Grouche is very nice. Quinta de Falcão is very good. And also Herdad de Comporta is very good. Herdad de Comporta is very close to where we went this morning. Yeah, at the Lagoa Santa Andre. That's right. all grown around there. Guardarinhos uh, is uh, Ribatechano. Yeah, it comes from near where we crossed over the over the Sado. Okay, great. Yeah? Quinta de la Rosa comes from the Duro. And the Grouch... Which is what we're drinking right here. Which is what we're drinking right, right. there. Comes from Great Bastard Country. All right. For tomorrow, looking for Great Bastards. Yes, a great day tomorrow with a... Great glass of glass. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>